What is up, super fam and bro vengers alike? I am Sensei Finito, aka Vane Sensei, and welcome to Marvel Bros, where we discuss all things Marvel and everything pop culture. And today, we're gonna be breaking down the trailer footage that was shown for Captain America Brave New World at D23 over the weekend. This is part one of the series covering all of the trailer footage and all of the D23 stuff that they did over the weekend. The vibe of this trailer and the overall vibes for this movie are supposed to be giving us that Captain America Winter Soldier feeling. And I think that they do a good job so far of capitalizing on that within this trailer. The last trailer revealed to us that Giancarlo Esposito's character is not actually playing GW Bridge, but is actually playing the leader of the Serpent Society. And some of you super nerds may remember that Captain America Civil War was initially called Serpent Society. The original name for the Serpent Society is actually the Serpent Squad which was founded by the first Viper with Eel and Cobra. The team's lineup changed several times, but it inspired one of the members to expand the squad into the Serpent Society and focus on treating their enterprise as a business. This member was none other than Sidewinder. The Serpent Society would later hold a group of civilians hostage claiming to be protecting them from the squirrels, but that obviously wasn't the truth. Giancarlo Esposito's character Sidewinder as well as the Serpent Society are both new additions that were only added in reshoots. When it comes to this movie, it's going to be capitalizing on a lot of the ground level governmental stuff that has been going on within the MCU. The first trailer for Captain America Brave New World definitely set the tone, letting us know how much of a political heightened environment it is. In this trailer, we see the new president, Thaddeus Ross, directly talking about the celestial that came out of the earth at the end of the Eternals movie and the production of none other than Adamantium. The ground level side of the MCU has multiple mini arcs that are kind of going on and one of the most predominant one is the fight for a precious metal within the MCU from the governments of the world. It's showcased in Wakanda Forever that basically ever since T'Challa let the world know about Wakanda, the governments of the world have been trying to get their hands on Vibranium. We've been trying to figure out why the Celestial hasn't been talked about, and I think the trailer is implying that the governments have been keeping it hush-hush. And it seems like President Ross will be giving a complete debrief on Tiamat Island, who will be deemed Celestial Island, as well as Adamantium, which in the MCU will be a substance harvested from the dead Celestial. Definitely don't forget that President Ritson left the political climate in utter turmoil at the end of Secret Invasion. He caused an all-out war in the streets. People were murdering scrolls. People were murdering people that they thought were scrolls because there was no way to know who was who. So you can only imagine the state that the U.S. is in after all of these governmental political issues that have been going on. You could say that we need Captain America now more than ever. I mean, that could be said. The whole serum as well as the super soldier serum are another thing that have been coming up throughout the entire ground level things of the MCU uh, in Falcon and Winter Soldier that was a big thing and also in She-Hulk so you can expect all of these things to show up in this movie in some way shape or form and this is the passing of multiple mantles because we will see Joaquin Torres reprising his role from Falcon and the Winter Soldier and he will be donning the Falcon suit. New heroes, new villains, new concepts being introduced. I mean, Captain America Brave New World really is shaping up to be amazing. And of course, we get the honorary two suit minimum from every MCU movie, so can't wait to see this full thing in action. I gotta be honest, it feels good to see that Tiamat Island is coming back in such a major way and so many things that we've been waiting for are actually going to be the building blocks of this movie. I mean, the leader is about to be a main villain in this. That's something that was introduced in 2008. So to say the groundwork has been done is an understatement, but I know that's going to obviously bring in all of the people saying I have to watch 37 movies to even understand what's going on, and you might, but you also don't really have to. 
the intrigue, the espionage, the spy vibes. I mean, it looks like it's capitalizing on a lot of the things that we have been looking for. And after everything that's happened in the MCU, they are in a perfect place to elect a president like Thaddeus Ross. They have been going through it. Unfortunately, they're going to continue to go through it because their president is going to basically hulk out right there in front of the White House and you just know that this is going to cause some problems. The thing that I'm not sure of is if Thaddeus Ross has taken the serum himself or if he was injected with it somehow here and that's why we end up seeing him hulk out. And damn, does Harrison Ford look solid as the Red Hulk. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. This is our first part of breaking down and discussing the D23 trailer footage that was shown. And make sure you subscribe because I'll also be breaking down the Fantastic Four First Steps, Agatha All Along, Daredevil Born Again, Ironheart, and all the other trailers that were shown at D23. With all that being said, you can follow us on social media at Marvel Bros to stay up to date with all things Marvel and everything pop culture. You can also follow me at Sensei Fini to stay up to date with all my thoughts, theories, and opinions on whatever particular thing I may be partaking in at that particular time. And you can check out our podcast wherever you check out your podcasts at. Type in Marvel Bros in the search bar. Let us know how we do. Give us a little review. You already know. I appreciate you for tuning in with us on this episode of Marvel Bros. And as I always say, stay awesome, stay nerdy, and don't forget to stay marvelous. Excelsior. If you guys would like to support Marvel Bros., all you gotta do is visit our website at www.marvelbros.com and buy some merch. Represent the super fan. Or you can join our Patreon to get early access to content, patron-only scoops, giveaways, private Q&As, and those sacred watch parties. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Excelsior. On today's pop culture news update. And on today's pop culture news update. On today's pop culture news update.